oh my gosh i can't get over how much i like this like this setup looks so good welcome to me impulsively deciding to clean my desk i just finished journaling so it's extra messy we're gonna switch over to this side okay we're here this is my desk so these are the new things that i've gotten um it's kind of like origami paper but all of these are just plaid patterns which i really like we have confetti stickers i'm get i'm thinking about getting more confetti stickers but here are the ones i have right now i put all of my stickers in these organizers these ones are specifically from daiso these are my two organizers these are mainly the korean stickers that i've bought through instagram accounts and then these are just mainly like larger ones that are from daiso welcome to my other side of this um this is on the right side of my desk and this is just my cart as you can see it's a little bit messy there's definitely a lot of paper things um just cluttered around and i really want to reorganize everything just to make everything a lot neater and more accessible which is one of the things i really like doing with my stationery that way i can make sure that everything i buy is used to its fullest potential so one of the main things I like doing is taking everything out and the reason I like doing this is just to make sure I find a place for everything. So we're gonna tackle this bin first. This is basically my paper bin. Um, it just holds most of the origami paper or just background paper that I have. One of the things that I like to do is take things out of their packaging. I think when I had everything in their packaging, while it did look very neat, I was more likely to not use it. So these are basically it. I have regular origami paper here, craft paper over here, and then the plaid ones. And then I also have the ones with design in the very back. Now this one has most of my letters that I write to friends for their birthdays or anything like that. Um, and then also a couple of stickers that I don't use on the regular, but still if I have like a design or a journal entry that will fit this aesthetic or somewhat, I will take it out and use it. Now moving on to the first tier and these are all of my stickers or anything else like that. Just random things that I couldn't find a place, but I always use. So these are one of the first things that I wanted to organize here because they are the ones that I use the most and therefore are the most cluttered. Um, these are organizers that I bought from Daiso. They're a little bit flimsy, but for the price they were, I think it was worth it. I mean, I don't use it for much besides just organizing stationery. This is just random things I put in. They're mainly to hold these, which are just like tape cutters, and then these really cute pins. Very cute. We have the second tier. This one is just random stickers. And then obviously these I don't have to organize because they're just regular mild liners. Okay, next we have memo sheets. They're not really a big deal to organize because I go through all of these. Uh, these are just freebies that I got or memo sheets that I bought from group orders or just things that I just tore out and didn't have a place to put, so I just put in here. So I think these are mainly organized. I keep it fairly organized by size, but there's only so much when you can do when all of these memo sheets are different sizes. Next, we just have stickers that I've made before. I'm not gonna leave it so much. I organize these. The washi tape, we're gonna organize. It's a mess. Now, washi tapes, these ones I use sometimes, especially if I need like different types of washi tape to use. I think one of the best ways to get different types or styles of washi tape is definitely trading. Okay, now we have like this entire section is just completely cluttered with a mess of everything. So we're gonna go organize this while also showing you a couple of things that I really use in my life. So this container is from Daiso and I think it's just really helpful in keeping all of my notebooks organized. These are things that I really use a lot. Um, they're just very big notepads from Target. 
and I've already finished one of them. Um, I used two, one for just journaling stuff and then one for school. Um, I guess if you're like wanting to do YouTube or anything, this is basically my idea journal. Um, this one particularly, this notebook is from Muji. It has lined paper. I think it's very helpful just for writing down ideas, especially if you're like me and have really bad memory. This one was already in my channel. This is basically um, writing about life or just, I don't know, things. If I'm ever angry, I write a lot in this uh, just to help control my emotions. We have like these little things. I put them all in a tray just to keep everything a little bit more organized. First, this pencil, very useful. It's very slim. Um, this is the Sakuda Retrico 0.5 one. These two calligraphy pens are the ones that I use. Both of them are from Daiso. These scissors are from Muji. I'm gonna keep one of the jelly rolls. I recently bought these. They're pretty useful. Um, they come in a set of three, zero, five, eight, and ten. Next, I think a lot of people might use this. Even if you're not journaling, you just can use it for school or life. If you use pencil a lot, this is very useful. I got this one from AliExpress, but I know Amazon sells it, and it's basically a small desk vacuum. So this is on the left side of my desk. I have here a Canon printer. Right on the side, I have this paper. These are mainly sticker paper. And then over here, I have paper for my printer. Moving down, we have, of course, a Marshall's trash bag, just in case I ever need it. And I have a hole puncher here. As you can see, this is fairly clean. And the reason is because I no longer have high school. And I have like a huge sketchbook here. I, I think as a journaler, I have like a good explanation on why I have so much. So first, first and foremost, we have the mask tray. Uh, these are just ones that I've never worn before. And then um, I just put it in here. Next, I have a couple of things. This one is a little uh, drawing coloring book. And I think you would remember from last year, my sister gifted these. And then in addition to the, the campus notebooks, I got Muji notebooks. And then I also have composition notebooks. <laughs> Um, and then obviously we move into the realm of like used notebooks. I think I have a video on that. Okay, moving on to my desk area. I have a little place where I sit. This is my seat. It's gray, of course, like everything in my life. Um, besides black, it must be gray. So moving on here, I have basically things that I don't really use. There's some embroidery threads in here as long as with a cloth. There are things I don't really use that much for journaling, so I just leave it on the very side. I like to keep the middle part empty, so all it has is calculator and um, tweezers for my stickers. I have my markers. These are divided by two containers. So this one is, these ones both are Daiso ones, and then this top one has all the Tombow ones and the bottom has all the Crayola. I also have more embroidering threads over here as well as well as some vitamins in the very back corner. And I have my sketchbook that I got for my middle year of high school and end of the year of high school. I also have lined paper down here and then uh, my bullet journal holder, all of my tray, my tiny tray, some post-its, we also have some notebooks and also a fan with my vacuum cleaner. I have a cactus. This jar that's holding it is from Daiso and then the cactus is from Ikea. We also have like this cute little thing that my mom got for me. It says class of 2021. I don't know. It's pretty cute. We have my Polaroid. We also have this little 
letter B. This was one I painted with my friends. Okay, next I have like these essential oils just for like headache. Over here, this one I've had for I think around four years now. It's basically something I got from Urban Outfitters. It's a little snow globe and you can put pictures in it. I decided to go for a little Pantone theme and it has Moomin in here, which is absolutely adorable. And I think it fits like the little blue, white, black theme I have going on. If you turn it around, this one has a quote from the book Flipped, which is one of my favorite books of all time, and it says, find someone iridescent, which is really cheesy, but like it's cute. So I mean, I was in ninth grade when I did it, so I don't know. I like it. It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> I totally forgot to add, I have a frog here. It's absolutely adorable. I think it's from the Target dollar section. Okay, now I have my cork board. Originally, I don't really like my cork board that much because it just doesn't really fit well with the theme I have. But I think overall, I learned to live with it. On my desk, there is usually just this. That's basically what's usually on my desk, um, except when journaling, otherwise it's very cluttered. I have my journaling book, and also I have my iPad, which um, I really like how it's all black and white, so that's really cute, I like it. And then this is my junk journal. I think I'll, I can show you one page in my junk journal. So this one I put on TikTok and this, these are just like practicing calligraphy. This one is referencing off of the tales of the SMP um, in Minecraft. So this is a example of what my spreads usually look like. Um, usually there's like a receipt in here and obviously you can see we went to Knott's Berry Farm. Um, I have a Polaroid in here, you can see like a little edge of it. Um, and then I have a ticket stub, which I'm not going to show you because it has, I think, the school name on here. But yeah, this is basically what my journals look like for my junk journaling. I don't put a lot of effort into it, which is the reason why it's like very plain. Um, and then I just really like it because it just reminds me of like the memories that we had. Over here, we have some notebooks on the side. I keep it in the corner here. And then I have some stamps on the top as well as some calligraphy pens. We also have my washi tape organizer right here and also my three-tier cart. We have my Daiso organizers that just keep all of the things in here. We have some sticker organizers and then here I put my ink pads in here as well as um, some other small post-its or stickers and I have a hole puncher here still figuring out where I should where I want to put the confetti and all the stickers um I also have the paper cutter here I have two of these organizers these are both from Ikea as I said before this one just holds all of the paper items I have like memo sheets and then these ones mainly hold like letters I have from Daiso and then lastly I have like this very small section that's not really organized at all um it just has extras like these kinds of tape Crayola t markers that I don't really use anymore and other containers So this wasn't my entire video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like or subscribe I think this might be like the last desk tour that I have Here because I'm gonna be moving Yeah